All right, welcome back to another video, guys, from here in Malaysia. Today we are in the city of Ipoh, and as you guys can see by the gates behind me, we have entered the uh, Little India region here in Ipoh. So, from what I have been told, Ipoh has a very large Indian population, and not only that, but incredible Indian food. So, that is going to be the mission for this video. We're going to walk around a little bit of this little India area and hopefully find an amazing Indian restaurant. Take a look right now. As we enter, we can already get the little feel. Kind of starts to feel a little more Indian as we walk through. You have the Indian billboards. I've never been to India, so I'm not sure if this is the exact type of architecture, but you definitely see there's a Bollywood sign, and I don't know, it feels a little bit Indian, maybe. The goal is to get some good food. And in order to get good, authentic Indian food, I have the hack. Especially when you're, you're not used to a city and you don't know where's the best places to go. The hack is to look if there's any Indians inside of the restaurant. If there is, you already know it's going to be a good one. As you guys can listen to the music, and see the sign, we are definitely in Little India. Okay, look at this restaurant. It is completely packed inside. Many different items. You know what? I think this is the place. They even have some sweets as well. These are very traditional sweets that you see all over India. Maybe we'll grab one when we leave. I'm not sure what type of food this is, but this is a very common way of cooking foods that I see all over India, Indian restaurants and Pakistani restaurants. Wow, you know what? This has to be a very good restaurant because it is completely packed. Look at that. One seat left right here for me. All right, so we found the menu and Let's take a look at this. Chicken butter masala. Ooh. Do they have butter chicken? That is the question. They have, they have mutton. South Indian breakfast. Not today. So on the menu over there, I don't know how well you can see, but I found a butter chicken. I think that is going to be the dish that we're going to try. Yeah. Um, yeah, does it come with bread, the butter chicken? Okay, how do you how do you normally eat butter chicken? You eat it with bread? Um, how do you, uh, I, I haven't eaten it in a long time, so I, I kind of forget. Do people eat it with bread or rice? Okay, I will get uh, the large one with the uh, rice. All right, so take a look at this. Thank you. The food has arrived. This is the butter chicken with the rice on, I believe, the banana leaf. It looks very hot. There's steam coming off of it. I don't know if you could really tell on the camera, but I might give it a minute to cool down. First, I want to just grab a nice little, maybe, We'll go all in. We'll dump it. Ooh, look at that. Wow. You know what? It's a lot bigger than I thought. Huge portion. Which I'm very satisfied with. That is good. This has just filled the whole plate. Alrighty. So this is going to be my first time eating butter chicken in four years. Last time was in Dubai, which has very good Indian food. But now, here in Malaysia, which is also known to have amazing Indian food. Alrighty, let's try it. Bismillah. It's very good, but I can say it's different than the one that I had in Dubai. The one that I had in Dubai was 
a little more buttery and sweet. This one, it seems like, I believe, they put some sort of spice. I think it might be the masala, which I've seen on the menu. But um, it's a new dish for me. This, I believe it's the very first time I've ever tried this type of butter chicken. And I'm gonna have to give it one more taste. Very good. Actually, I really like it. On a scale of one to ten, we'll give this a solid, I would put it at eight out of ten. Very good dish. And uh, could I get one of those? Yeah, just one? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And take a look at this. This is the uh, kitchen that all of our food was prepared. It looks like a very good, well organized kitchen. And the lastly, we have some sort of dessert. I've seen it all around. And We'll see if it's good. All right, now for the mystery item of the day. I don't even know what it's called. This sort of ball. Bismillah. Hmm. Okay. I might be wrong, but it seems that it looks like it's some sort of rice ball but it does taste very sweet and very good. I actually very much enjoy this. A perfect little dessert after an incredible meal. How much is one of these? This one. Uh, this one uh, the samosa? Yeah. Samosa. Yeah. Uh, how much for uh, one? 150, one piece. Okay, I take one piece. One piece, huh? Yes, thank you. You. Man, shout out to all the food reviewers. I never realized how hard work it is to eat so much, but I am completely full and I borderline don't want to eat this anymore. But in order to make this video more of an Indian food hunt instead of just the butter chicken video, I'm going to eat this. Alrighty, let's see how it tastes. This one. I am very glad that I had that. Maybe this could be the best item of the day. And it was the cheapest, 150. Very good, honestly, I really like this. It is similar to the Indian one that we had in uh, Kuala Lumpur, although it has a much more filling texture. There's a lot of that um, potato and some sort of sauce. Similar to the butter chicken sauce. It may, maybe it's this masala, I have no idea. But I can definitely say it was very good. This, I would put it at a nine out of 10. So very good item right here. And as we finish the review, we reach the end of Little India Stew. As you guys can see behind me. So, we're going to end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.